I think some of the biggest challenges parents face raising kids in today's culture is, is the culture itself. It's so much different than when they grew up. I mean, every culture has its own issues and uh, things that they deal with, but kids have a lot facing them. And so one of the things I think that LCA does a really good job of is partnering with parents and helping them face these challenges head on. That's one of the best things I love about LCA is the partnership that's formed between moms and dads, teachers, administrators, all with one goal in mind, seeing their kids become the best uh, followers of Jesus Christ they can be. The first thing that parents experience when they come to LCA is the warmth of this place. Uh, they definitely know that their teacher loves their kid. And, uh, and that makes any parent feel comfortable. And just the relationships that are formed, um, because that's what discipleship's all about. It's about forming a relationship with Jesus, but uh, having relationship with uh, of Jesus' followers. And so when you have teachers in the classroom that are loving on your kids, um, I think that's one of the greatest assets that LCA offers is teachers who love uh, you know, the, these kids or these parents. One of the things kids will experience when they come to chapel is that it is the most dynamic part of the week. It's where we get together, we have fun as a community, um, and uh, you know, chapel at the beginning is really wide open. Um, but as the chapel continues, it narrows down to what the big idea for the day is. And the thing I love about chapel is we're going verse by verse through Scripture and teaching these children how to study God's Word. A famous theologian once said that it, it, it's a sin to bore kids with the Bible. And so we don't want to bore them with the Bible. We want them to see that it's alive, it's living, and it's applicable to their life today. Kids' spiritual moorings are starting to be put in place when they're eight and nine years old. And so that's when we have them. And uh, a Christian researcher, George Barner, goes on to say that by the time they're 13, what they believe when they're 13 is what they're going to live the rest of their life believing. So for us as a school to come alongside with parents and create that foundation of what it means to live a life for Jesus Christ, I think is key in our partnership with parents. Well, one of the things that we do here at this level in order to give kids that opportunity to live their faith is every Tuesday, we have kids that go down to the Lexington Rescue Mission to serve lunch. They give up their recess, they give up their own lunch time, they miss a little bit of class time, and they go down and serve lunch to those who are less fortunate than they are. And at first, they're a little apprehensive, but every kid that comes back signs up again because they love that feeling they get. And what that feeling is, is them seeing that they can be the hands and feet of Jesus to people. We want them to meet face to face with people who need to experience the love of Jesus Christ.